Infectious Gabriel Kalimansis. Sorry. Of mass from the brain of the of mass. Of mass, bromomoyal infection. Bromomoyal. The brain dynamics in this is we have already done. NH, NK, NR, RH2. For of mass bromomoyal reaction, we have to start with an amoyal. RC2H arrive or and plus in presence of bromine and alkaline and which bromine and alkaline that is uh, you'll be getting this migration of migration of this R to this nitrogen and you will be getting an R and H plus two NABR two NABR plus two H2 plus Na2 Na2 so here what is happening one carbon atom is less in that product I mean the major product one carbon atom is less. So we can call it as a step down reaction. So Hofmann's bromomide degradation. Degradation. Step down. One carbon atom is less. Degradation reaction. So an amide is changing to an amine with one carbon atom less. This is an amide. Bromomide. This is an amide and this is an amide. This is a step down reaction. Means one carbon atom is less. Production of an amine from an amide. That is, Hofmann's given by Hofmann's. We call it as Hofmann's bromomide degradation reaction. Next, we come to the physical and chemical properties of the amines. Physical properties like solubility, boiling point, etc. Whether amines are soluble in water, I mean, RH, RH. Are they soluble in water? Yes. They can make hydrogen bonds with water. They are soluble in water. Which is more soluble in water? I mean, or alcohol? Alcohols can make hydrogen bonds. Amines can also make hydrogen bonds with water. Then which is more soluble in water? Alcohol. Why? Because in that O is there, there it is M. O's electronegativity is more than N's electronegativity. O's electronegativity 3.5, N's electronegativity 3. That means that is more polar. So that can make high, easily, that can make strong hydrogen bonds with water. So alcohols are more soluble in water than acids. Amines are colorless, but on storage, it will undergo atmospheric oxidation and this brown color. Amines have got fishes. The amines are present in fishes. So amines have got fishy smell. The smell of fishes due to different amines. Amine, mean. So, what about the boiling point? Boiling points of amines. Primary amines, secondary amines, tertiary amines. Which, is, which has got more boiling points? R, NH2. Secondary, R, NH, R, tertiary, R, N, R, R. Which has got the highest boiling point and which has got the lowest. Now you see. If I take this in one test, this in another test, this in another test, I'm taking primary amine in one test tube, secondary amine in the second next test tube, and tertiary amine in next test tube. And I'm starting heating at the same time, which will boil off first? That means, which will boil off at lower, lowest temperature? 
Look at this primary, this can make hydrogen bond with the next amine molecule. This can make hydrogen bond with the next amine molecule. This can make hydrogen bond with the next amine molecule. That means this is surrounded by three. And here, this, this can make hydrogen bond with other amine. This can make hydrogen bond with other amine. Here, this cannot make hydrogen bond because in the other one, there is no hydrogen. Hydrogen bond is a bond between hydrogen of one molecule and the electronegative element of other molecule. So now no hydrogen bonds there. So tertiary amines are discrete molecules, separate separate molecules. They have no contact with the other tertiary amine molecules. So they will be coming, they will be distilling off, they will be boiling off first. That means the lowest temperature tertiary amine will be coming out. The boiling point of tertiary amine is the so that's about the boiling point. So highest boiling point will be for prime Next, chemical properties. First one is basic amine. Which amine is more basic? Which amine primary, secondary, or tertiary? Which amine is more basic? Again, I'm writing primary amine that is R NH2, R NHR, R N R R primary, secondary, and tertiary. Every nitrogen is carrying their own way of life. Please base. Nitrogen can donate this way of life. Here one alkyl group, alkyl group is electron drawing that when this pair of electron is easily available for donation. Here two alkyl groups, it can be easily donated. Both the alkyl groups are pushing electron density towards nine. Here three alkyl groups, all the three alkyl groups are pushing electron density towards nine. So that pair of electron is very much available. So this should be the most basic. In gaseous state, Means if there is no other interaction with the solvents, if they are discrete individual compound, then tertiary amine, tertiary amine is the most basic in gaseous phase. Gaseous phase means they are individual, there is no other interaction with solvent molecules. But There is no other interaction between the solvent molecules. In gaseous phase, means you consider only tertiary, you consider only secondary, you consider only primary. But all the reactions cannot be done in gaseous phase. Gaseous phase, very less number of reactions, mainly the reactions are carried out in active space or with a, a solvent. So I am going to talk about in active space. In, in gaseous space, if the question is there in gaseous space, then you have to know that tertiary is the maximum, then secondary, then primary. Now, if it is not printed anything, then you have to go for active space only or liquid phase. Then you print active space or liquid phase. If it is mentioned, then if they are, men they, if they are mentioning gaseous space, then only you go for gaseous space. Otherwise, you go for liquid phase, that is active space. If they are not mentioning anything, active space only. Active space is same as is a uh, liquid fix. So now, what is the case in the case? Uh, what is the state in the case of active space? In active space, also this electron donating inductive effects uh, are there. In active space, this effect is already there. Plus interaction with the solvent. Interaction with the water. Interaction with water means. Now this will be making more hydrogen bonds with water. The more solvated, the more basic it is. The more solvated, the more basic it is. So if you consider only inductive effect, only plus I effect, or electron donating inductive effect, sorry. If you consider only inductive effect, the has got a maximum that is more basic. 
But in active space, not only this, there is interaction through hydrogen bonding, interaction with the solvent molecules through hydrogen bonding. So this means maximum hydrogen bonding means this is this is solvated very much more solvation, more basic act. So considering solvation, considering solvation, considering solvation through hydrogen bonding, then primary has got the highest. Primary is the most basic. So in one case, through inductive effect, tertiary is most basic. It's confusing. In, in, when you consider solvation through hydrogen bonding, this is getting more solvated. That is primary. So primary, most solvated, the most basic. So primary will be the most basic when you consider solvation. So there is an interplay of these two effects. That is inductive effect, solvation effect. And when you consider hydrogen bonding, here there is less steric hindrance to hydrogen bonding. That means this is more solvated very much. When you consider uh, the steric hindrance towards hydrogen bonding, here is the less steric hindrance towards hydrogen bonding. So primary, in active space, primary is the most basic. So there is an interplay of inductive effect, solvation effect, uh, and less steric hindrance to hydrogen bonding. When you consider all these things, secondary has got advantage. So in active space, secondary is more basic. So the after effects of all these effects, after effects of all these effects, secondary will get advantage, followed by primary or tertiary. That depends upon the connections to that nitrogen, to that amine group. If C to H prime is connected, suppose I am taking either a group connected to it, instead of this R is in high group. If you consider ethyl group, that is C two H five H two. C2H5 twice MH. C2H5 twice N. In active space, which is the most basic thing? Secondary is the most basic. If it is ether, you have to consider the electron donating effect. If it is methyl, you have to consider the hydrogen bonding effect means solvation. If you are ethyl, for ethyl, electron donating effect is prominent than solvation effect to hydrogen bonding. So, here tertiary will be having more basicity than primary. So, whether it is tertiary or if it is tertiary or primary. So, if it is metha, if it is ethyl group, then just that is tertiary, that is C2H5 twice N will get the advantage, that is tertiary, followed by primary, that is C2H5 N. But if it is primary, I'm going to write primary. If it is primary, that is CH3 LX2. CH3 twice NH, CH3 twice N. Again, in active space or in liquid phase, secondary is the best. Now you have to consider solvation effect. Due to H5 is more electromagnetic than CH3. So that electron donating effect is not at all applicable here. Here you have to see the solution. Which is more solvated? Primary is more solvated. So here you have to give importance to solvation effect. There you have to give the importance to electron donating in that So here uh, behind this will be uh, primary, then comes first. 
So it depends upon the group. You have to learn only this methyl and ethyl connections. Combining will not be getting. Combining will be getting with uh, aromatic. Aromatic. So in the case of methyl, then primary should be given importance. This part the secondary. If it is ethyl, tertiary should be given more importance. Just after secondary. Anyway, in active phase, secondary is getting the advantage. That means secondary will be more basic. Secondary will be more basic means how can we explain this? This explanation is difficult. That means it is difficult to explain the basic character of secondary. How secondary is coming. So we use the word subtle. Difficult, subtle. It is difficult to explain. It is difficult to explain. There is a subtle in the play of inductive effect, solvation effect, and less direct to the hydrogen body, which all these things, these things, all the three things will decide the basic character of secondary. Second. Now coming to so this word we are using that means which cannot be explained in the case of secondary. By using secondary, you cannot explain, but taking primary and the tertiary, you are explaining this. Using primary and secondary, you are explaining, you are giving the expression for secondary. So there is a subtle interplay which cannot, which is difficult to be explained. So there is a subtle interplay of inductive effect, solvation effect, and the still kindles to the hydrogen bonding, which decide the basic character of Alkanamines. Now coming to the aryl connection. When it comes to aryl connection, how the basis is used? That is aniline. Aniline and methylene. CH3 energy. Is that non pair of electron or nitrogen is readily available for donation? In the case of this, this is an electron donating inductive effect, methyl group shows. That means that is very much available. What about this? This electron pair is taken towards the ring at five percent of structure cell. So array lamins are less basic than alkyl amines. Alkyl groups show inductive effect. Array group C6H5, see, this is that does not. This array group C6H5 is pulling the electron density towards it. So the electron pair is not available for donation. That means array lamins are less basic than alkanamines. So in comparison, you want to come with this group and that group. Suppose the question is coming. Aniline is, aniline is having less, less basic character. Or PKB value of aniline is quite high. You know that as PKB value increases, basicity decreases. PKB value, there is an inverse relationship. KB, direct relationship. Basicity and KB, direct relationship. Basicity and PKB, inverse relationship. So we'll be, we'll be talking about PKB or PKA because that is having uh, handy small small values. So PKB value of aniline is quite high, means uh, aniline is less basic. If PKB value increases, basic character decreases. So basic character of aniline is less. Why? Because we know that C6H5 is electron withdrawing here. The pair of electron will be pulled towards the ring. So PKB value of aniline is quite high. Means aniline, aniline doesn't want to lose that pair of electron. Suppose it has lost that pair of electron. For example, uh, as a constant base, it is accepting one x plus that pair of electron is given to given to one x plus. Then after the work, what is the species form? See, one x plus one x plus is uh, taken and here and x three plus. After the work, that is a species form that is called aniline ion. Anilinium. Anilinium. This is aniline. Whether this aniline will change to anilinium ion or it wants to be in the aniline format only, that is the question. 
If anilinium ion is more stable, then anilin will change to anilinium ion. If the form species is less stable, then anilin will not change to anilinium ion. Will it change or will it not? Uh, will it not change? That is a question. Will it change or not? If it changes, that means anilinium ion is more stable. If it is not changing, that means anilin is more stable. Why we are telling anilin is anilin will not change to anilinium ion. Anilin is less basic. We said anilin is less basic, and we are going to support it. Anilin has got five resonance structures, but anilinium ion has got only two resonance structures. Why? This is NH3 plus. And it's three plus. And the next is this. You shift the double bonds. That's all. Only two resonance structures, the double bonds. But here you have five resonance structures. More the number of resonance structures, more stability it has got. So anilin is more stable than anilinium one. That means anilin wants to be stay in this format only. It will not change to anilinium ion. So anilin is less basic, or we can say the PKB value of anilin is one. That's about the basic character. Next, we are moving to the chemical properties. Before that, you write one question. Arrange the following in the decreasing order of basic strength. Arrange the following. Arrange the following. In the decreasing order of decreasing order of Basic character. C6H5H. C2H5H. C2H5 twice NH. NH. Now they have to mention whether it is in a gaseous space or Atmosphere. So you have to take it as atmosphere. That makes the question is more atmosphere. Right? So secondary will be the highest that is this one. Secondary that is C2H5 to Behind that is of course C2H5 NH2. Behind that is NH3 because uh, here there is an electron donating uh, ethyl group here A that is NH3 and here it is electron withdrawing process is H5 and H2. Right, the most basic is the most basic is second. Now we have said that second is the most basic. Basic as PKB value in terms of PKB value, also we said what is PKB value? Uh, we'll be going to class 11 to PKB. So know the PKB value, what you have to do this uh, I mean CH3 NH2 or RNH2. RNH2, I mean you are putting in water. You are putting in water. So here this is basic, this is acidic, this will be X plus I purpose. So RNH3 plus plus here press this OH minus. OH minus. So here. What is this uh, K V here? What is this K V here? K V is equal to consideration of R N X three plus
एक नेगेटिव लॉगरिदम ऑफ के बी इज के के बी इज के बी इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव लॉगरिदम ऑफ के बी व्हिच विल बी अ नंबर अ स्मॉल नंबर सो पी के बी एज पी के बी वैल्यू पर चेक द पी के बी वैल्यू हायर द पी के बी लोअर इज द बेस कैट This is basic. You can react with an acid from salt. Consider this uh, on NH2 plus acidic. That is C to the C to H. What is salt formed? From here, this uh, H plus will be released. So here, C to the C to the minus. Again, S. Minus will be the plus. So this minus and here R N three plus. This is the salt. This is the salt formation. If it is HCl, if it is HCl, then H will be going here. Right? H will be going here. So R N three, R N three plus and Cl minus. So this is the salt form. H will be taken here. Then what is remaining is Cl minus. Next we are going to the chemical properties. So chemical properties. I mean, okay, chemical properties. First was basicity. Second is Second is uh, alkylation. Alkylation is same as that of ammonolysis. What we have seen from the second step, that is CH3 NH2. CH3 NH2. We are going to alkylate. That is uh, CH3 Cl. What does happen? CH3 is secondary. Secondary that is NH CH3. The same thing what the steps you have seen, the more you have seen the ammonolysis of alkyl halide, and this is a better equilibrium. So this can again that is CH three NH CH three again CH three Cl. You can alkylate this to form a tertiary NH three CH three plus HCl. Then for tertiary ammonium salt, this we have already seen the ammonolysis of alkyl. Now we are telling that opposite way, same reaction in opposite way because this is chemical. Way. So first chemical reaction was basic character. We explain whether primary, secondary, or tertiary, uh, which is more basic. In aqueous phase, secondary is the most basic. In gaseous phase, tertiary is the most. So alkylation next is acylation. Acylation. We'll be doing in the next class.